What up, fight world? This I mean, boxing club, man. Let's get to it. So, <clears throat> we got Teofimo Lopez, ex assistant trainer. You know, um, this guy named Gamache, he worked with Teofimo Lopez against his knockout win against uh, Richard Comey, and he worked with him when he uh, beat Lomachenko. And he didn't work with him for the fight with George Cambosos because. Long story short, with the purse bid going on and uh, T.O. was telling him he spent a lot of money. Long story short, he couldn't afford him. He couldn't pay to, uh, to keep him in the camp, to have him in that camp. So being that he couldn't pay him, the dude didn't do it. So, you know, he said there's no hard feelings. You know, he still like he still would like to work with them again and all of that. And, you know, he was just talking about how he felt like T.O lost the fight because of his weight cut. He was saying that if T.O. was a big lightweight, he was hurting himself to make that weight, and uh, he should have just went to 140. So how I feel about that is, okay, maybe it was the weight cut. I'm not going to sit right here and say it wasn't, that didn't hurt him, but the game plan was horrible too. Um, the game plan was horrible. Uh, the advice he was getting in the corner was, was not good. And you know, uh, you know, that's it, it was more than just a weight cut. It wasn't just a weight cut, but you know, that's how I feel about that, man. But t he was he was saying that uh, Teofimo Lopez, you know, he took a loss, you know, um, stuff like that. So he was saying that they need to maneuver him better now at 140. They shouldn't just put him in the, you know, with with the sharks. Basically, don't don't throw him in there with nobody that's, you know, top level. Throw him in there with you know tune ups and get him back right. And I agree, though. I agree. He don't need to be in there with no top dog right now, man. And, you know, it's it's not that's not going to be good for him, you know. So if they want him to get back to the top, they got to they gotta build him back up, you know. So he, he was like he believed T.O. going to do his thing and he going to get back right and stuff like that. So we, gonna, we shall see. That's all I got for that, though. We shall see, man. But, you know, T.O., he been going through – other things mentally. I know that loss really like messed him up. I don't know how bad it messed him up, but you know, being the fact that they still was making up all these different excuses and you know, uh, he still he still continued to say that he believed he won the fight, you know, even though, you know, man, he was he was being delusional, man. He was, he, I know the loss, you know, that's his first loss and he didn't really want to accept it, but they still haven't accepted it, so. Um, I seen like on his Twitter not too long ago, man, he was saying some stuff about when I'm gone, I'm going to be more appreciated. And, you know, he started saying stuff like that. Uh, you know, I didn't look into it, but uh, I heard about him um, airing his baby mama out. So it's like he going through a lot of stuff like that. And I thought that was his wife, too. But anyway, um, I got to look more into that, so I ain't going to speak too much on that. But, you know, being that he going through a lot like that, man, and he's saying he's going to be appreciated more when he's gone, it sounds like he's talking about how, you know, at, at one at one point in time, like he felt like he was on top of the world. And now that you lost, and one fight you lost, now people don't look at you like that no more. But what I want to say is T.O. was a different T.O. before he beat Lomachenko. Once he beat Lomachenko, it went to his head. Um, he thought he was this super mega star and that, you know, all these fighters need to do this. I did this and, you know, he just let it go to his head, man. So, you know, maybe that was too much for him to take on. Uh, you know, I think he only had like 16 fights or something like that, you know, young dude. So, you know, then you got your pops in your ear who, who not in my opinion he don't be giving them good advice he be saying like crazy stuff so you know it's not like i didn't see nobody in his corner that was keeping him in check you know telling like putting him like making him a hey, little lock in man you know before he fought cambosos like they could say it was the weight cut and all of this and all of that but dude was clearly smoking hookah he was clearly like overlooking this dude and you know he he you know he was talking about he was overlooking Cambosos, man. He didn't feel like Cambosos was the guy that was going to beat him, you know, but, you know, he, he went against his promoter. He was doing a lot, man. Uh, he, he felt like he was Floyd Mayweather or something. Like, he was just top dog. He, you know, his own boss type stuff. Like, 
you know, like he just, you know, he, he let it go to his head, man. So I, I feel like T.O. needs somebody in his in his corner that's going to not entertain the BS, bro. And uh, somebody that's going to um, be able to check him, man. And somebody that can put him, like, you know, because his pops, obviously, like, he not checking him, man. He not checking him, you know. He, they on the same type of time. They agreeing with each other and whatever it is, you know, like, you know, his pops was saying that T.O. Fimo, he was like, how you, like, you telling the world? So if he telling us that T.O. didn't get knocked down, he he slipped. And so like, it's clear it was a knockdown. So if you telling us this, what are you, like, what you telling us? Yeah, man, he ain't knocked you down, you slipped. And then your son, like, he going along with this? Like, is he believing this? Like, you know what I'm saying? His pops telling him this, like, you, you the one raised him. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't be doing stuff like that he needs somebody in the corner that's gonna tell him look man or whatever like in that situation yeah man you got put down but you know it, you know it's boxing though man you got back up and you kept fighting man you know he was the better man that night you, you know you had an off night you know the stuff we was going through but you know you're you a bounce back you know but i don't think he had that in his corner but you know it, you know he needs to get something like that in his corner um, I don't know how good this dude Gamachi was for his team, but you know he was with him when um, he beat Kome, which was a nice knockout win, and then he beat Lomachenko. But you know, I don't know what type of dude he is. If he's the type of dude to keep him in line, but you know, if he is, man, he needs to bring him back to his camp, man. But you know, I want to see Tio fight again. I want to see him uh, get back in the mix, but I want to see him humbled. I want to see him like more focused and. Stop trying to, like, these guys, man, like, as soon as they win a the belt, bro, they, they, it, it just goes straight to their head, man, and, um, they just gotta, like, realize, man, like, a lot of people want to be like Floyd Mayweather, and I understand, like, you know, Floyd Mayweather, he really, like, the top, he, like, at the, you know, he, he reached the highest level of our generations and stuff, so, like, people, they quick to try to compare themselves to Floyd and try to be on his level, but, then like he even said it after one of his fights he was like everybody want to be Floyd Mayweather but they don't want to go through the pretty boy stage or something like that so it's like if you know that man like go through the pretty boy stage man Floyd wasn't Floyd was fighting everybody Floyd wasn't talking about uh he wouldn't he wasn't saying like counseling people out like nah I'm not fighting him because uh whatever whatever excuses T.O. was making man <clears throat> it, it was just so much stuff going on with the Devin Haney thing, like all the talking, what you did to him in sparring, but you know, this dude was begging to fight you, you didn't make that happen. You could have fought him over Cambosis, you know, but you didn't make that happen. And <clears throat> that would have been for the real undisputed. And you would have had uh, your biggest payday. You would have got paid for that fight, man, but it didn't happen. You know, uh, Floyd, Floyd, man, I think Floyd fought De La Hoya, like when he was like 30. 33 i can't remember man but them dudes was like 20 years old talking like this 22 23 talking like this man you know so man they gotta just stay down and just keep fighting these fights man and uh you know um don't let it get to their head man so you know that's how i feel about t.o man but everybody drop in the comment section man tell me how y'all feel about t.o Fimo lopez uh ex trainer he was talking about um, he feel like T.O. will bounce back and he'll do much better at 140. Y'all drop in the comments. Let me know how y'all think T.O. would do at 140. You know, because I think 140 is, like, stacked, man. Young know, 40 got some guys. He got some guys over there. So let me know in the comment section how y'all think T.O. would do at 140, man. That's all I got, man. Everybody like, comment, and subscribe, man. So, I mean, Boxing Club, I'm out.